Account Maintenance. From the Accounts menu, select Account Maintenance. We can use this program to change the details of any existing account, add a new account or delete an account. So let's click on the Add button to add a new one in. So give it an account code. Need to make sure that this account doesn't already exist, this account code. Give it a name. We can enter a description, but this is optional. And if we move down to the type, there are three types of accounts, money accounts, payments or receipts. So money accounts are cash accounts like your bank account or petty cash, for example. And you would have one of these accounts as your main money account. Typically, this would be your main bank account and would appear as a default in the receipt and payment programs. The other options are payment and receipts. In this case, this code is a payment account. So we need to also to put this account in the appropriate report sections. So we click the down arrow here, they're listed here. So this is where it's going to appear on the receipts and payments report. Let's put it under fundraising costs. Fund code restriction would be used if you wish to, for this account, to only enter it for, for a particular fund. Therefore, if we try to enter a transaction against a different fund, the system won't allow you to record it. If we leave it blank, it can be used for any fund. Once you've added everything in, just click on record. When you add new codes, you also need to make sure that the Charity Commission Report Design Programs also include the new account codes. Otherwise, the value against the new code won't get included on the reports. Also in this program, we can update existing codes. So we could just click on update and we could change any of the details of this code we've just added. And you just click on record. You can also delete it by clicking the delete button as long as there are no transactions against this account code. Also, when you click on update, you can change the code itself. So if we change this to something completely different, and clicked on record. It means that uh, D6410 no longer exists and all the transactions and balances are now against this new code, D8555. So when changing the account code, you do need to make sure that the new code doesn't already exist.